I didn't expect AI would do this. Watch until the end to find out what happens. Here we go! ChatGPT play Baldur's Gate 3. This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. ChatGPT chooses to investigate the pool. It's a success. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. ChatGPT wants me to uh, reach toward the pool. Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please, before they return, they return. AI says three. You sound afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. AI says one. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You know no creature like this. One that is more brain than person. AI chooses one. I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. Inspect the exposed brain. Succeeded. You notice edema, a swelling of the brain, causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. Option number three. Attempt a cerebral extraction, staying mindful of the swelling. The brain lifts from the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Number two, spare the creature, any injuries might weaken it. Says here, given Elara's compassionate nature and her role as a folk hero, she would likely opt to spare the creature rather than inflict unnecessary harm. This choice aligns with Elara's character, showing her empathy and willingness to avoid causing unnecessary suffering. Before we continue, I would just like to add some context. All choices that you see in this series are made by ChatGPT. I just do what it tells me to do, as well as the battle decisions. Everything you're seeing is AI, not me. Let's get back into it. If you want to know the backstory of our character, then please leave that in the comment section below, and I will add that to the next video. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm! But the helm, we are needed. To gain more information and understand the situation better, let's ask a clarifying question. Number two, what's at the helm? The brain tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. Let's continue to gather more information about the entity before making a decision. Number four, what should I call you? Us. We are us. Given the urgency of the situation and Elara's curiosity and desire to help, let's proceed with the entity to find out more about what's going on. Choice number one. All right, let's go. This choice aligns with Elara's adventurous spirit and willingness to assist in a dire situation. To the helm we go. We are going to the helm. This is your end! Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh! My head! What is this? Squall. You are no thought. Blackith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. So let's gather more information about the situation and the character we've encountered. Number two, who are you? This will help us understand who Lazel is and potentially provide more context about the current situation. Who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. Let's seek her advice on what to do next, given the urgency of the situation. Choice number three, what do you suggest? This will help us understand our plan and decide our next steps accordingly. First, we exterminate the Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. A 
As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Attacker! Attack the nearest brain, it says. And the nearest brain is this one over here. It has vicious mockery. We'd make better strangers. Thou inglorious hog. Toenail tasting trout hole. We did it. Or ChatGPT did it. I didn't do anything. <laughs> the man isn't dead, but he's totally unresponsive. Flickers in his eyes, but he seems totally unaware of his surroundings. You! Get me out of this damn thing! We have no time for stragglers! Let's take a moment to consider our options. Given Alara's compassionate nature and her role as a folk hero, we should likely want to help those in need. Option 1 is the choice. Look for a latch that might open the lid. This choice aligns with Alara's character, showing her willingness to help others even in a dire situation. Let's see if we can find a way to open the pod and assist the person inside. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Given the urgency of the situation and the fact that the ship is crashing, it might be prudent to explore further to see if there's a way to open the pod while still prioritizing our own survival. Choice! Number two, I'll go look around. There must be some way to get this thing open. This choice allows us to keep looking for a way to help the person without completely abandoning them, while also acknowledging the need to find a solution quickly. Go! Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry, please! The console appears dormant. Let's continue to explore options that might allow us to help the person in the pod. Choice number one, look for a switch or a release. This approach is more likely to safely open the pod without causing further damage or danger. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first, but then you spy an empty socket. Given the information about the empty socket, it seems hitting the console might not be the best solution. However, since we have no other immediate options available. Choice number one, hit it. This action might trigger a response from the console, potentially opening the pod or providing more information. Number one it is, Chad GPT. Nothing. The console remains dormant. Given that the console remains unresponsive and we have no other immediate options to help the person in the pod, it's best to prioritize our own survival. Leave. We'll continue our journey and look for any opportunities to help once we're in a safer position. So I think I might know, I, I think I know where it is. It's in here. A dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. I asked it, should we touch this pod? It says, given the information we've gathered and the need to make quick decisions, let's proceed cautiously but decisively. Choice, yes, touch the pod, uh, touch the console behind the Mind Flayer pod. This might provide more information or an opportunity to help the unresponsive person, or it could reveal more about the ship's systems, potentially aiding our overall mission. Let's push it. Let's go ahead and investigate further by interacting with the console. Option number one, place your hand on the console. This will allow us to see if we can gather more information or take action to help the person inside the pod. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Changer! Changed at the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. Let's use the rune we found to try and open the pod. Number one, insert the rune into the socket. This should activate the console and potentially free the person inside the pod. Okay. The console hums to life, but what is its purpose? Will it free the captive or transform her like that other unfortunate? Let's use Alara's investigative skills to better understand the console and its purpose before making a potentially risky decision. Choice number two, Arcana. Take a look, closer look at the powered up console. This will help us gather more information and make it a more informed decision. 
It's a success. The pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. This device is different from the one that caused the other captive to transform. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Given the information from the successful Arcana check, it seems likely that this console will open the pod without causing a transformation. Choice number one, place your hand on the console. This should open the pod and free the captive. Let's see. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. A parasite. Then discomfort fades and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Let's take advantage of the sensation of connection and authority to attempt to open the pod. Choice number one, illithid wisdom. Will the pod to open? This should allow us to use the newfound connection to free the captive. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. So, I asked it what to do, and it says investigate the console. Given the situation and the pot potential risks, let's try to approach this logically. We should press one of the buttons to see if it might help the unconscious individuals. Number one, choice. Press the button on the left. This is a cautious approach to see if there's any immediate reaction or effect. If nothing happens or it seems safe, we can consider the other buttons. The one on the left. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. You feel her gratitude, but also guardedness, and above all, a will to survive. Ah, my head. Let's engage with Shadow Heart to understand her condition and potentially gain an ally. Choice number two. Did you feel that just now we were in each other's heads? This choice will help us understand her perspective and potentially build a report with her. I did. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. We need to deal with that. First, we have to get off this thing. Let's join up. Given the situation and the potential benefits of having an ally, let's agree to join forces with Shadowheart. Choice number one. All right, then let's get going. I'm Elara Winstrom. This will help us build a stronger party and increase our chances of survival. Shadowheart, one moment. Given the curiosity and the need to understand more about our surroundings and potential tools, let's ask about the object. Choice, what's that? This will give us more information about the object and its potential use. It's nothing, trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm, now. She's right, lead on. Let's proceed by touching the left button. Psionic energy radiates from the prisoners. They do not react. Given that pressing the left button caused a psionic reaction but did not wake the people, we should proceed cautiously. Let's try the next button to see if it has a different effect. Choice. Press the button in the middle. This will allow us to see if a different button has a more favorable effect on the unconscious, unconscious individuals. Let's see. Vicious mockery. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kane Yank. deal with the geek after we escape. Connect the nerves. Nerves. We will connect them. Given the urgency, 15 turns remaining and the potential enemy, Commander Dalk, our priority should be to focus on survival, managing the lesser enemies and reaching the transponder. Okay, and then it gave me a list of actions to do. So, first action. Attack one of the lesser imps to start reducing their numbers. Given that all the lesser 
lesser creatures are defeated and we need to focus on the main objective, let's prioritize reaching and activating the transponder. Here's the plan for the Mind Flare ally and Alara's turns. Okay, so it says that we should try and reach the transponder. Have We're not going to do that, but... Oi, oi, ugly. An O for you. Oh, mayhaps. Strike. I given the AI the new details of the battle, and this is what it says. Given the updated situation and the arrival of new enemies, we need to adjust our strategy to manage the multiple threats while still keeping our goal of reaching the transponder in mind. Here's the updated strategy. Immediate strategy. Prioritize reducing the number of enemies quickly. Use crowd control and area effects where possible. Continue to position party men members strategically to avoid taking unnecessary damage. And then it gave me a, a detailed list on what I should do next. So let's end the turn. Oh no 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 no! Cancel end turn. We need to fight. <laughs> That's gonna leave a scar. I believe I can fly. Oh, I shouldn't be seeing that I'm gonna get a copyright strike. <laughs> oh. Okay, sleep well.
As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Let's prioritize checking for injuries to ensure Elara is in good condition before assessing the surroundings. Choice number one, check yourself for injuries. This will help us understand Elara's physical state after the fall and address any immediate health concerns. Okay. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle given everything you've been through, but it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Who? bananas we made it off the ship that's gonna be the end of today's video if you enjoy my content please remember to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads leave a comment down below on what you think about ChatGPT's choices i mean do you think that's sus or would you choose the same? Also, leave a comment on any tips, tricks, questions, or concerns that you might have. Then you please consider joining this channel by hitting the join button below. If there is no join button, you can find both the links to YouTube membership and Patreon in the description. If you are starting a YouTube channel and don't know where to get started, or you have a YouTube channel but you're struggling, try vidIQ for the best results ever. They have both free features as well as paid features and if you buy a subscription using my link in the description I might get a small commission at no extra cost to you. VidIQ is not paying me to say this, I truly think that they are really good at helping others with their YouTube channel and you're supporting the channel so it's a win-win. With that being said, I'm going to give my current supporters the recognition that they deserve by putting their name in the credit roll. If you want your name in the credit roll, be sure to become a member. So credit roll in three, two, one, go. Alrighty then, if you click on the video above, you will find a suggested video for you. If you want to continue watching this series, click on the one at the bottom. Top one suggested videos, bottom one is this series. In the description, you will find a link to both the membership benefits video as well as a link to this series and then my main playthrough series of this game. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!